Um, we usually have one annually. Um, usually what I've seen being done at the board retreat is there's a discussion about where the district is going. We reinstate our goals and our vision. Um, we have a wonderful presentation from our superintendent and our treasurer during the retreat. We also hit on different topics, and some of the topics um, that I've heard of interest from the board members are the drug policy needs to be looked at for students as well as staff. Um, also, what needs to be looked at is the dress code because we no longer have Mr. Silverman here, Silverman Hayden, who used to just donate so many uniform vouchers for our children who, are, who really need those. Um, vouchers. So I think we need to address the, dr the dress code policy during the board retreat. And um, um, I had the dress code the drug policy for the evaluation. Uh -huh. What issues we got it and forecast from the superintendent, our uh, superintendent's uh, data she has for us. Okay. And yes, also we need to um, do the we need to do board evaluations. I was hoping that we can do that stuff on one day. And when I say that, I mean, we got you waiting on set. Correct. Okay. Right. We had Mr., uh, the guy from OSDA yeah. come out before. Yes, we had it for one book one. <coughs> well, I was hoping we can do that, that agenda on one day, but as a second part of the agenda, which I briefly spoke with you, Madam President, is that we as a board um, create some type of fundraiser to bring some kind of income back into the schools and that's where I say we all work together um, together one that everybody put in. I was hoping, because we do have to include our superintendent and everyone in this in this idea that we can set up a day today for the first part of the retreat, which is what we listed before, which is the superintendent and the treasurers um, like their state of address to us. Um, the dress code, the drug policy, the board evaluation. So we can do that on one day. And then we'll do a phase two. I don't think we should have it directly the day after um, because phase two, we want to do a fundraiser and that's going to take time <coughs> with planning. Um, if we can set that day that way. I'm looking because um, my husband gave me a fundraiser that breakthrough schools, schools are going and some community lunch where they were raising money for the schools. And I was going to you that. I thought I had to uh, to show that that's some of the things that we can do. Because I think the board should be trying to put in, try to get the community involved. Mm -hmm. We want to do what we can in order to keep the school board. And uh, I'm sorry. How many days do you need to do the thing? Two days. Two days? Yeah. Two days. Yeah. Two days. And maybe we can have a this week in the dimension. Uh, I'm sorry. She's basically what's that? It's okay. Uh, you know what? I thought, my thought is the end of it. Mm -hmm. That's my contribution. We had spoke once before, or at least I had spoke once before about uh, to help boost the morale within a district, mm -hmm. employee morale by hosting a, for lack of a better term, red carpet event for the employees where they are rewarded for their extraordinary contributions to the district. So, and I, I know the president said you and I will be working this together and my, my only input is is that that's what I would like to see as the end of the end of the retreat, maybe the last day. And I'm talking about an evening event. We've already I've already uh, <laughs> looked out and found uh, someone who will be willing to donate the food. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we've checked on a few venues and trying to keep it in East Cleveland, thinking that maybe Shaw High School would be uh, the perfect venue. Uh, I mean, we could decorate it and we have a stage there. Um, and this is just off the 
off the cuff. I, I didn't know what you was going <laughs> to Yes, I asked Mr. Corley to um, give us some paper and pencil because, like I said, we need, I don't want to just be my idea of your ideas. We can just use the whole board. And I did like the idea of your red carpet event. So I was thinking also we needed to, um, I know you said food also. We need to come up with a slogan in a time of year we can do that. Like a collaboration. I, I have a slogan I have an idea about my year. So, so what time of year were you thinking about the retreat? Because what I had in mind was like September. September. And I don't know, I have no idea what time period you were talking about. Can we make it? Can we make it as a board, make it a three-day retreat? We can do phase one with everything we discussed earlier. Phase two would be Ms. Westbrook's idea, which would be the last. red carpet. I think the red carpet should be the last. The last one? Uh -huh. Because my idea, I was thinking of like with an, a, a dinner with awards and everything, but pushing it towards the end of the school year. And we can get the kids involved as well because I wrote down some but I know what I wrote down. Um, you said toward the end of the school? Yeah, mine was also, yeah, like year? make it in phases because we're doing fundraisers also, so we don't want to hit everything in one spot. Um, I was thinking like through the school year, Mrs. Corley, um, we can encourage the kids by saying, since it's like a, a red carpet affair, and you know at graduation how we have their pictures up on the screen, maybe we could, we could scroll their names. If you don't get F, these and F's on your report card, your name will be on that on that board. Those parents can come and see their kid's name on there and it would interest them. And as their, the grade levels or GPAs go up, we can even call even the, the honor roll, merit roll students to the stage. And their parents will come also. I'm sure their parents would find a couple of dollars for a table or something like that. I think you're talking about two different things. Mm -hmm. You're talking about the students. Ms. Westbrook was talking about the staff and the teachers. Yeah, that's what I was saying. She wants, she, she, hers was geared towards September or, or the end of the year. Because I was thinking mine at the end of the year for my other part of the retreat. When I was asking a lot of September. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh -huh. But I don't, but I don't, but, <laughs> and I don't want to, I don't want to throw any confusion. I, I know this is Ms. Fisher's first time right. hosting or sponsoring uh, uh, an event, mm -hmm. and and I don't I don't I don't want to I don't want to confuse it. What whatever it is I'm talking about, and, it, and it's for the employees. Uh -huh. It was it would go good with the retreat, the last day, the last event, period. Okay. And my mind. When I was thinking about this, I was when I was thinking about it and asking for donations or looking for a venue, I had it all planned in my mind for September. Because um, I, I still wanted the weather to be decent. Uh, no one tracking around here trying to get dressed up and come out the snow or cold weather and coats, you know. So, so whatever you're doing, two, three, four, whatever days prior to that, I, I just want the last four or five hours <laughs> okay. Well, see, that's how we work together. Mm -hmm. How about, okay, this is just an idea. So we still, we good with day one, correct? We're good with day one? With the presentations so what, on day one? With the day one of superintendent and the treasurer? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the, the little policies and stuff we'll discuss. So then we'll end the retreat with your event. And we always can do fundraisers, but I would like to work on that fundraiser and talk about that fundraiser after the retreat for the end of the school year. How about three days? One day for the, let's call it, and the treasurer. We usually have a whole day for them. They go morning and the other one goes in the afternoon. The next time would be working on the different policies that we were speaking of, evaluating ourselves, your policy for the children, and, and the staff, and a dress code for the children and the staff. I know that they may not be legal, but sometimes they need a dress code too. And um, then the third day would be the evening for the uh, red carpet event. How about that? Okay. And, and in my mind, and I don't know if we can do it the way I was thinking about it, 
we have a lot of staff. I believe 300, over 300 people, Mrs. Corley. And I would imagine if we if we say this is a red carpet event for staff, some staff members would want to bring their spouse or significant other. And you're talking about a fundraiser. My thought was this is free for the staff, but if they choose to bring their spouse or significant others, we have a $25 charge. This would cover whatever they're going to eat or, you know, whatever that would be. How would that be put on the How would that be? That sounds, sounds kind of tacky.
money-wise. Do we still have $30,000 for the retreat as we did last year? Do you know that one? I don't know what your budget is. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Expressions from the community? I'm sorry? Expressions from the community? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Mr. Expressions Mr. from the community? Absolutely. I thank you for reminding me. We'll have the expressions from the community so that you won't have to wait for us to come out, I should say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Jones? Well, my request is uh, about getting uh, the public records I'll ask requested because you guys in this executive session every time use the same thing. So obviously something's going on that the public needs to know because these hour and a half long executive sessions every meeting uh, should be made as a, since the, the, the uh, attorneys are here. I'm sure they're looking at Ohio Revised Code 149.43 and not looking forward to a writ of mandamus coming their way, but that's what's headed their way. 
And this I want to know. I want to know if we're going to get those public records or not. This is Dr. Chico. I have an answer to your uh, request that you made within the next few days. Am I correct? It will come straight from your from our attorney. So no problem. You will get it. We're not ignoring it. Okay? Thank okay. you. Dr. Rice, Dr. Harris, Mr. Bush. Okay. Thank you for coming. We'll be out shortly. You won't be an hour ahead, I promise. Like me like that.